Sister Wives star Cody Brown admits shame over how he's acted on the show. Cody Brown, star of the reality television show Sister Wives, was recently interviewed with Mormonism Live, where he reveals the shame he feels over some of his behaviors on the series. Sister Wives star Cody Brown notes he's ashamed of his behaviors. During the interview, he talks about what it's like to have his family conflicts paraded on television. Cody notes that every time he works, he's in front of the camera, adding that once or twice during an episode, he feel embarrassed. At times, it was over something cute or quaint. Still, Brown notes that it got to a point where he would do something he was completely ashamed of. Cody also discussed the process of dealing with this. He states that he continues to be a man of faith, so his prayers recently have centered around asking the Heavenly Father to assist him in stopping behaviors that he feels shame about. While Cody notes that Sister Wives is not scripted, he does admit the producers can get a rise out of him. He states that he believes the reason Sister Wives has been so successful is the habit of him and his family to be honest and frank, which caused them to cross lines. He goes on to say if he doesn't like something, he has a tendency to say something out of line as he is triggered. Sister Wives Spoilers Being in a reality TV series has taken its toll on Cody Brown. While Cody acknowledges that drama is needed for good television, it's been heartbreaking for him. Whether he's lashing out at a fan question or an interpreted behavior of someone in his family, these things have had an impact on him. He admits that during Sister Wife's first five years, Cody could watch an episode and smile throughout or see an embarrassing moment and take it in strides. However, during the latter years, he almost can't bear to watch it, and more recent episodes makes him physically ill. Overall, he shares, it's been a sad experience for him. Why fans think Cody should issue a public apology on season 19? Cody Brown started off as the protagonist of the Sister Wives franchise, but the tables soon turned, and he ended up becoming the villain of his own family show. The celeb has received backlash for his behavior and the treatment he gave to his own wives and children. After noting some incidents, viewers have concluded that Cody should issue a public apology on season 19. They pointed out some shocking reasons behind this idea, and the majority of the audience was convinced of it. What is this notion all about? Why Cody should apologize to his family on season 19? The last few seasons of Sister Wives have been hard to watch because of Cody. He was mostly featured yelling at the top of his voice and arguing with his wives and kids. There have been uncountable examples of him demeaning his other half of the family just for the sake of defending Robin and the children he has with her. Viewers initially used to call Cody out because of his chaotic personality. However, after Garrison Brown's tragic death, they believe that nothing less than a public apology on season 19 would work. This is because several sources have confirmed that the departed soul took his own life while he had an estranged relationship with his father. Apparently, the last two seasons have documented his deteriorating bond with Garrison. Fans remember how Cody went to the extent of saying, I don't have sons. They're all dead to me, during an argument with Janelle. He even called Garrison a narcissist and accused his sons of being jerks. But that's not all. Even after Cody has already lost one of his sons, he was featured sitting with Robin instead of Janelle during Garrison's memorial. Cody was consoling his only life rather than supporting the mother of the departed soul. Fans believe that this clearly is an unjust behavior and he needs to be held accountable for it. Sister Wives Will there be a season 19 while fans and Garrison's friends vouch for franchise's cancellation? Sister Wives season 19 filming began soon after the last edition. Many sources confirmed that the Browns were filming when Garrison took his own life. Though there is a chance that viewers will get more details about his death in the upcoming season, they believe that there shouldn't be a season 19 at any cost. This is because they think that the franchise has now started to affect the mental health of the Brown kids. As per the reports, Garrison Brown texted some of the people from the crew members and sent a concerning message. 
This made fans think that he was dealing with mental stress because of the franchise. Moreover, while many of his friends were paying tribute to him, some of them used hashtags that vouched for the cancellation of the show. This further added up to the narrative. Amid all this, the way Cody has treated his wives and most of the kids has made the dynamics toxic. This could be the reason why fans want the network to cancel the franchise. But if there would be a season 19, they would be willing to watch Cody taking accountability for his deeds and mending fences with his older children. Sister Wives Christine Brown's daughter reveals tell-all book plans. Did one of Sister Wives star Christine Brown's daughters reveal she is planning to pen a tell-all book in the near future? So far, a few of her children have been very open about what they went through growing up in a plural family. More so, they have not held back feelings toward their father, Cody Brown, and his fourth wife, Robin Brown. So which one is ready to spill even more? Sister Wives Christine Brown's daughter reveals tell-all book plans. Christine Brown raised the majority of the Brown children as she was the primary homemaker. Between herself and second wife, Janelle Brown, they had a total of 12 children. First wife, Mary Brown had just one child, but they were all still a family. For her part, Janelle was the one who was most dedicated to working and she liked it that way. That all changed in Las Vegas when the wives got their own homes in a cul-de-sac. They had more autonomy though the kids could all still freely interact. After moving to Flagstaff, the wives were completely displaced and were not even remotely close to one another. Around the time Christine left the plural family, her son Peyton Brown started spilling the tea about life as a sister wives kid. Then Wendlin Brown started her own Patreon and YouTube page quickly followed by Michael T. Brown Padron. After Garrison Brown passed away in early March 2024, Wendling closed down shop, but Michael T. kept chattering. So which one of Christine's daughters may be doing a tell-all book? According to the Ashley's Reality Roundup, Michael T. shared that she and some of her siblings have tossed the idea around. The Brown siblings have chatted about it, and they have said they may do it together or they may do their own variations. We actually have considered writing a book. I think I honestly gave up waiting to write a book with my siblings, and that's one of the reasons we did Patreon. I do still think some of my siblings debate back and forth about writing a book. As far as I know, none of my siblings are currently actively writing a book, but I do think several of my siblings like the idea. In the end, Christine Brown's daughter still likes the idea of writing her own story. She feels she has the skills to do so and says that she would just hire an editor and a publicity person. This would be an aid to avoid her rambling. No contract, game on. A book is completely feasible for Michael T. Brown Padron. Unlike several Sister Wise cast members, she is not under contract with the show. Therefore, nothing is holding her back from doing a book if she so desires. Unfortunately, Michael T. does feel she would catch heat if she wrote a book while the show was still airing or in production. However, she would be in the clear once it is over so that would likely be ideal. Her husband, Tony Padron, added they do not want to burn unnecessary bridges. Looks like, somewhere down the line, this will definitely happen. Janelle Brown shares private text with fans. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is sharing private texts with her fans and they are loving them. It has been an extremely hard month for the former plural wife. She lost her son, Garrison Brown, to suicide in early March 2024. Since then, she has tried to find comfort and solace anywhere she can. Now, she has gotten texts and they have made her day so much she just had to share them. Keep reading for more details. Sister Wives Janelle Brown shares private text with fans. Janelle Brown is trying to cope with the loss of her son, Garrison Brown. It is a pain no mother should ever have to deal with, but her family has been there for her through it all. She has sought comfort with her grandchildren, Axel, Evie, and Joey in North Carolina. That is where her daughter, Maddie Brown Brush, lives with her husband, Caleb, so she seems to be relaxing there. Recently, she sent out a text, 
but she had no idea that it went to more people than she had intended. She was trying to make plans to take her grandchildren out for ice cream, so she sent a message to Maddie. However, her former sister wife and very close friend, Christine Brown happened to be included on the text chain. Of course, being the fun-loving and good-spirited person that Christine is, she immediately put in her order for a treat. Janelle shared this snafu on Instagram as it was too good not to. Immediately, a Reddit thread was started to discuss this fun interaction between Christine Maddie and Janelle Brown. They loved that Janelle had just Christine's name, whereas her daughter's first and last name was listed. So what else did followers have to say? Did Newhut realize I could have been asking for extra hot fudge? It warms my heart that they are getting back some sense of normalcy after the tragic loss they've just experienced. Janelle's grandkids are such a blessing, always, but especially now. Also, I like that Janelle double checks with her daughter about special treats. What's in the group chat? First off, followers loved how Janelle Brown consulted Maddie about giving the kids treats. They thought that was so respectful of her. Then, they wondered why the three had a group chat to begin with. Then, others remembered that they had their own business together, so it was probably utilized for that purpose. It was a fun and silly interaction, and the fact that they are able to be happy again is a big deal. Garrison Brown's family planned to keep his legacy alive through Hawaiian Clothing Company after death. Plus, more about the reality star's clothing brand. Cody Brown and Janelle Brown's son, Garrison, died by suicide at his home in Flagstaff, Arizona, one month ago. His death at 25 years old was ruled as a suicide by the Flagstaff Police Department. The National Guard vet previously struggled with depression and had an alcohol addiction, his roommates claimed in the police. It is unclear when things took a turn for the worse, but it is known that he was an entrepreneur who launched a Hawaiian-style clothing business, Bob's Floral, in 2020, with help from his brother Gabe. A few months after launching Garrison, whose birth name is Robert Garrison Brown, wrote on the brand's Instagram page, Bob's floral will be temporarily on pause. My reopening plan is big but needs time to be executed. I wish for Bob's floral products to be made domestically and with care and passion for those who seek an easygoing lifestyle. He concluded, until then, we hope you continue to follow and support the page. Thank you all so much. Now exclusively reveal that Bob's Floral LLC is still active and is in good standing. In addition, a source has revealed that his family plans on carrying on his plans with the clothing company. He was definitely planning on working on his clothing, but before his death, he wasn't really doing much of anything, truthfully, a source who is close to the sister wives family. He was depressed and was unhappy, and he didn't feel like he was getting much success from anything. The source went on to say that there wasn't really any announcements of any plans coming, referring to a relaunch. But now, oddly enough, there's conversations within the family about how they're going to try to keep his legacy alive. They plan on carrying on some of his dreams, which can be done by his brothers, they continued. The source also said that the family is working on creating a foundation for him, which might be geared towards saving animals since that was something close to his heart. They're going to turn what happened into a positive, the source added. Aside from Garrison and Gabe, Janelle shares four other kids with ex Cotty, Logan, Maddie, Hunter, and Savannah. The TLC family reunited on March 24 at the Clark County Armory in Las Vegas, Nevada, to honor the memory of Garrison, who was formerly a staff surgeon in the Army National Guard. In photos released to the public, the Utah Natives family, including Cotty, Robin, and Christine, were seated next to each other as they paid their respects. Some family members, including Hunter, Robin, Christine, and Leon, opted to wear Hawaiian patterns to honor their late relative, which a source told sentimental thing between the kids. Cotty, who had a tumultuous relationship with Garrison for years, 
chose to wear a pink dress shirt and blue blazer with jeans instead of a floral print outfit like his last standing wife, Robin. A source told that the reason behind his attire choice is because he was in mourning. Cotty didn't feel like parading around in colorful wardrobe, the source revealed. Never made up. Sister Wives fans were aware that Garrison and his dad had an estranged relationship ever since the pandemic. They were still estranged and never made up before his death. A source shared, I don't think they had even spoken since COVID times. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time they saw each other. I know for a fact there was no buddy slash buddy hangout or friendship, the source continued. Despite Garrison and Cody's estrangement, Cody posted on Instagram the day the shocking news broke. Janelle and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. Cody captioned two past photos of Garrison. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. Our loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. Janelle shared the same photos and message on her account. The aftermath of Garrison's tragic death will reportedly play out in season 19 of Sister Wives. Mary Brown reveals she's dating a good-looking guy called Amos. We laugh a lot together. The reality TV star said she has been dating Amos since October following her split from Cody Brown in December 2022. Mary Brown has a new man in her life. On Tuesday, the Sister Wives star revealed that she is dating a good-looking guy called Amos as she marked her 53rd birthday on Instagram. Alongside a carousel of images of herself and Amos together, Brown wrote, Birthday number 53 is looking a bit different for me this year, and might I say, I like how it looks. Meet Amos, the good-looking guy I've been dating since October. He's not six foot six, nor is he a pilot, but he loves Christmas almost as much as I do, and we laugh a lot together, both of which are important elements to a relationship. The reality TV star then went on to note that her dog Zona absolutely loves Amos and told her followers to swipe to see her cutest picture. The second photo in the carousel showed the pooch sweetly placing her paw on Amos' hand. This was followed by a snap of the couple posing in a park with Zona. Opening up about why she has kept the news private, she continued, I've been keeping this kind of close to me as we've been enjoying the last few months of dating and getting to know each other. As I've considered when and how I wanted to share this fun news and share him with the world, Jake, not really sharing, I'm keeping him to myself. I knew I wanted to celebrate my birthday in a special way and let you celebrate this with me. She concluded the post, I feel like I'm getting this year off to a great start and I can't wait to share more with you as the year moves forward. Mary confirmed her split from Cody Brown after 32 years of marriage in December 2022. Back in November, Mary reflected on what she learned about herself following the separation in an exclusive interview. I'm pretty badass, just going to say it, she said. And I am very confident and I know what I'm worthy of and I am a very good business person and I know how to create safe boundaries around myself. And yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not too shabby of a person. She also said she 100% gave it my all in her marriage before announcing their split. I did everything in my power that I could do. And if I would have walked away any sooner, there would have always been a question in my mind of did I do everything that I can do? She explained, 